severely tan on camera right now. I'm like glowing and like shimmery. I don't know what's happening. I just, I did, I will admit, I used a tiny little bit of this. Fantastic from Milani, but good grief. I have that like bodybuilder greased up shine minus all the muscle tone and the bikini. I'm high on Benadryl right now. Hello my loves, so today I am going to be doing an empties video. You guys have seen my empties videos before, if you have not, it's basically where I show you my trash and I give you a mini review. Now, first off, I'm sick, so I sound like a man. Second off, I tried a new self tanner. I am like Turks and Caicos dark right now and I'm patchy, patchy, patchy like a mofo. I don't know what happened. I'm fairly good at applying self tanner. Bad things happened with this new tanner that I tried out. I'm going to blame myself because it was probably my fault, but you don't need to leave me comments about my hand. Trust me. I know. I know. So I have a lot of empties. I'm going to get started. Oh, fun fact. I think I had this shirt on in my last empties video. So I'm going to start with, let's get these guys out of the way because I have a ton of them. So I have a bunch of makeup wipes. I have some Garnier and Simple. That's all that I, yeah, that's all that I see right now. So I have one, two, three, four, five Garnier, and I have three, oh, two Simple and another Garnier. So obviously I really like the Garnier wipes. Um, the Simple wipes I used to really like, but something's different. They're much harsher now than they used to be, so I will never repurchase these guys. I, mm, I'm just like turned off. Um, I will say I haven't been using wipes. I kind of have a new skincare thing going. It is working so well for me. My skin has never in my life, even when I was a teenager, like I had such good skin in high school, my skin has never been better than it is right now. So I think I'm going to do an updated skincare routine. Thumbs up the video if you guys would like to see that. But anyway, yeah, Garnier wipes. I'm just not using wipes anymore, but if I were, I would definitely repurchase these. Next up is my Borghese Spa Comforting Cleanser. This stuff I miss so much in my skincare routine, but I'm not going to repurchase it. Only because, like I said, what I'm doing now is working so well, and I'm using a drugstore face cleanser. So I'm not going to spend the $40, 30 to $40 price tag on this when what I'm doing now is working just as well. But I do love this. This is one of my all-time favorite face washes. It's very gentle and soft and smooth when you put it on. And I do kind of miss it, but I don't miss it enough to spend 40 bucks on it again. Not right now. I have six, yes, six jars, containers, I bottles of my L'Oreal Youth Code Texture Perfector. This is the best drugstore serum that I've ever used. One thing that annoys me about this, it doesn't last long. I feel like I only get like three to four weeks out of this, which, I mean, it's $20. I still think that's a little pricey for drugstore skincare, but I love this. It makes my skin feel very good. I feel like it does help with the texture that I have. I have little bumps under my eyes and I just get texture on my face in general. So I do feel like this helps and I love it and I will repurchase. Actually, I've already repurchased. I have a new one right here. This is the Estee Lauder Time Zone Anti-Wrinkle Cream. I have a big one of these that I have to, what, what am I showing you? There's nothing to see. Um, I have to admit, I have not really been using this. I think it's a very nice moisturizer, but it's just very basic. I feel like you could find this in the drugstore. You could find it in other brands. I mean, maybe it does amazing things that I just don't realize, but I don't, I don't think I'll repurchase this. I don't know. I go back and forth with this. Some days I love it. Some days I'm not that into it. Today's one of those days where I'm just like, eh, it's all right. And then I have my CVS brand eye makeup remover. I adore this. This is my favorite drugstore eye makeup remover. And I like the CVS brand better than the Neutrogena 
For a while, I thought they changed the formulation of this, but I think I just had a bad bottle because I bought another one. I actually returned the one that I had that was funky, and I got this, probably this one, and it's perfect. Um, I don't know that I'll repurchase this right now, only because I have a bunch of Bioderma that I've been using and absolutely loving. Oh my god, Bioderma is like unicorn tears. It is so freaking good and I can't get it in the US, but luckily I have a lovely subscriber who is willing to send it to me. So anyway, I'm sorry, I'm off topic, but I do like this. It's the best drugstore eye makeup remover I've ever used. This is the Summer Color from Banana Boat. This is a self-tanning mist. I really like this stuff. I've been trying some high-end tanners and I swear I always go back to this. I usually use the lotion which I like the lotion a little bit better but this did work very well. Very easy to use. I find that I don't get super blotchy and patchy with this. I've never had this issue with this stuff and it doesn't smell too bad. Um, I don't like the lime scent, like the citrus scent, but I can get past it. Oh, I have some Olay wet cleansing towelettes. I don't remember how I felt about these, so I'm assuming they weren't that good. I mean, I shouldn't say that. Maybe I should. I don't think I like them. I can't remember. Next up is the Borghese Gentle Foaming Gel. This is a shower gel, and I also use it as bubble bath. Love, 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 love so much. This is my fourth one, and I have another one in the bathroom, and I think my mom got me one for Mother's Day because I kind of saw one sitting at, never mind. Um, this stuff is amazing. It smells so good. I can't describe the scent. It's a very unique scent. Just, I love everything about it. Oh my God, I miss this. Why are you not still full? Because I'm sad, sorry. And then I have from Bath and Body Works the Rome Honeysuckle Amor. Amore, amore, that's amore. Sorry, this is the shower gel. This was okay. Um, it was a little bit too girly for me, but I just use these as bubble bath. So for that, it worked just fine. And then I have Beautiful Day, also from Bath and Body Works. This scent I really, really liked. This is Sun Kissed Apple Sparkling Cassis. Huh. and wild daisies brightened by fresh pink peony and creamy musk that's why I like it because it has the musk I don't like super girly flowery scents I like them to have a little bit of like strength to them and this one smelled really really good I think I have one more yeah this is the Paris Amour from Bath and Body Works this is the body lotion yeah um, my daughter actually used this I don't care for the smell of it. It is tulips, apple blossom, and pink champagne. I think it's the champagne scent that I don't like. Um, yeah, blah, I really don't like this, but she liked it, so to each his own. I have three. Oh, no, I have four. Oh, maybe just three, sorry. Three of the Beauty Blender Cleanser Solid cannot live without this stuff. It's one of my holy grail, will never be without. I'm not even gonna show you the inside of it because that is funk nasty. This stuff I use to clean my beauty blender and my makeup brushes. Best makeup brush and beauty blender soap cleanser ever, ever. I can't even tell you guys how good this stuff is and I know I keep saying I'm gonna do a favorite brushes video and do a demo with this. I really need to do that. I adore this. It's about $15 to $20, I think, worth every single penny. I would pay probably double that for this. Um, Just so you guys know, you can really do a lot of damage to your skin with bacteria and old makeup, so make sure that if you're using a beauty blender, it's thoroughly ready to go. I mean, don't put a dirty, don't just like run it underwater. It needs to be cleaned with soap. Okay, I'm done with my rant. I'm sorry. Oh, here we go. I have two of the Banana Boat Summer Colors. These are the ones that I really like, the lotion form, and I get the deep, dark color. They work so well. So, so, so well, and they're like $6, so definitely 
pick some up. This is my Vichy Lift Active Anti-Wrinkle and Firming Care Eye Cream. I cut the top off and dug every last drop out. I do have another one somewhere. I did repurchase this. For a while, this was my favorite eye cream. Now, I've been using the Tarte Maracuja Eye Brightener Eye Cream, and I love it. So, I'm not going to repurchase this now, but I do think it's a really good eye cream. Oh, I forgot to show this to you guys. This is the Borghese Active Mud for Delicate Dry Skin. Now, this was my favorite face mask for a very, very long time. But like I said, what I'm doing now is really working and I haven't used this for about a month. So I'm not going to repurchase this. This is pricey. It's like $60 maybe. And I mean, I do think it does really nice things for my skin. But looking back, now that I'm not using it, my skin's doing so well. So I don't know if maybe this was irritating my skin and I didn't know it. I'm so confused when it comes to skincare because I feel like I use so many different things that I can't really tell what's working versus what's not working. Does anyone else feel like that? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just... I don't know, but what I'm doing now is really working, so I'm not going to repurchase this. I already said that, I think, twice. I have, of course, a Jordana Best Lash Extreme Best Mascara in the entire world. You will see one of these in every empties videos. And then I have three of my Anastasia Brow Wiz Pencils in Medium Ash. Again, I love these. I just finished this one up today, and there's two more in the bag. So, oh, that's four. So I have four of them. How the hell did I go through four of these? I tell you, it takes a lot to get these brows to happen. I have a little NARS Pro Prime. This is my all-time favorite eye primer. Oh gosh, I really wish this wasn't empty. I'm like scraping the bottom of the barrel with the one that I have now. I can't find this at my Sephora anymore, so I need to order it online. But if you have oily eyelids, Best eye primer ever. So I have a bunch of. I don't have so many. Hey, this is brand new. Hey, this is the one that I was looking for and I couldn't find it. Son of a bitch. So I have three bottles of Essie Blanc. Mm -hmm. Um, the reason I use three of them is because I was trying to get my Essie Neon collection to look bright. I'm just kidding. Don't be rude. That's not nice. Um, I use this nail polish for nail art all the time. So, yeah, favorite white nail polish ever. I just, I use it pretty much every day of my life. I have two bottles of Essie Licorice. Again, favorite black nail polish. I love using this for nail art. It's just the best black nail polish I've ever used. And the very last thing that I have is the Kerastase Bane Volume Active. That's definitely not how you say it shampoo for fine damaged hair. This, I think I got at Target and I really, really like this shampoo, but I will not spend like $30, $40 on shampoo. I just think that's crazy. So yeah, it was good while it lasted. Definitely recommend it if you want to spend $30, $40 on shampoo. This is a really good one to try, but I'll stick with my drugstore shampoo and conditioner. So guys, that is it for my, I was about to say favorites. That is it for my empties. Um, yeah, I definitely had a lot of stuff, but I need to do one of these videos once a month and then this would not happen. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope I inspired some of you to go out and maybe try something. The L'Oreal Youth Code, Bomb Digs, um, yeah, some bubble bath, I don't know. But yeah, I love you guys. Make sure you thumbs up. Let me know down below if you would like to see an updated skincare routine for dry skin, of course. But I think my skin's changing, so that's something that we'll have to talk about. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I don't know who would need to use like five bottles of this. I'm look at oh my god, I look so horrible. I'm so sorry. I'm, I really am sorry. And now my battery is about to die. I'm very whiny today. If you have not figured that out, the sickness that is in my my nasal <laughs> my nasal my nasal area. It's just I'm sorry. I need to have some chocolate. <laughs> Dove. <laughs> is Dove related to Hershey? I don't think so. They could, yes, I'm eating another one. Keep your pants on and put that camel to rest. Nobody wants to see it. Um, yeah, you could kill someone with this. And I thought about it. My mother-in-law came over the other day. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I would never, never injure that sweet, nice woman. <laughs> you, you cannot. I will not repeat what you just said. Don't you ever say it again. I can't tell you guys. I'm sorry. But this freaking rose, what are you called? The L'Occitane, I'm not saying.
saying that right. L'Occitane Roses. Oh, God, it's in French. But it's a rose perfume and a rollerball with this cute little top. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, it it's not like heaven, heaven above. Where did that saying ever come from? My grandma used to say that all the time. I don't give a rat's ass. But when do you give a rat's ass? Like, why is it a rat's ass and not, like, a bird's ass? I don't understand. Who would ever want you to give a rat's ass? I know I don't want to receive a rat's ass. Do you? I know you guys expect camel talk every day, but when I sit for more than, like, a half an hour, she gets mad. She gets so mad. I don't know why I'm screaming. I'm mad for her. I feel her pain. <laughs> Trust me. I feel her pain. Hey, girls. Oh, my God. <laughs> why? <laughs> why would you say something like that? Hey, girls. You ass. You are. Hi, guys. Oh, my voice. It's so thick. It's so thick. She is not happy. 